creating a dynamic form with dynamically generated answers like an online calculator or a dynamic recommendation tool is very easy with lead doubles tool all you do is that you input some metadata about your form title internal ID maybe a description and you choose a spreadsheet the spreadsheet you've done up front you can download some examples this is the first example that's there and from there you can see how you define the form it looks complicated but it's pretty basic first column is labels and you've got first everything above the term calculate that's the input everything below that's the output got four input fields and you've got two output fields this is the labels it will be so in the form and this is the input fields the first three are just regular input fields the third the fourth one is a drop down list here and in column C we've defined it as being a radio button it takes in the values from this row here one two three four that's actually the values you can choose from over here to create drop down list we have to go to data validate set to list choose the options you want to be there and you've got your drop down list in, in Excel and that will be converted into a drop down list or radio buttons and your dynamic form. The values down here are calculated. As you can see, it's the input fields from up here multiplied with each other, and these values are dynamically inserted once the user is, is done with the form. Then they use these, they get these numbers depending on what their input was. So let's try to upload it. and we can all we can request different things we can request contact information we can address, get their full address their name email phone numbers etc let's just get their name and phone number we can set different titles for the contact page but let's just leave it for like that So now let's see, this is the form we got within a few seconds, it was ready. Length of the house, 20. Width of the house, 10. Height of the house, 3. Number of floors, we got the radio buttons as they were defined in the spreadsheet. We press send. Now since we are requesting the contact information, we get the to put in the contact information, phone number, first name, last name, and we press send, and we get the numbers dynamically calculated from the spreadsheet, and that's it, that's your dynamic form.